Hey, what's going on, guys? It's TV and our frags, aka Preston here, and welcome back to the KM Strike with Every Gun series in Call of Duty Ghost. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's episode with the Honey Badger. If you guys did, or if you missed it, you can check out the link in the description to go check that out. And also, as always, leave a hot and spicy like down below on this video. Only takes a second. We're going for uh, 10,000 likes on this video. That would be fantastic. So, anyways, for today's episode, I got for you guys is the CBJ MS SMG. And I don't know, I really like this SMG uh, just because it looks really cool. It's really sleek. It's just like a really compact, you know, awesome looking SMG. And I really like the way that it shoots and the way that it handles. I, I don't know why, but there's just like an un I'm, 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 I'm not sexually attracted to this gun. I'm just attracted to it. I find it very appealing and I like it a lot. I don't know if that sounds weird. But anyways, so this is the fastest firing SMG and Call of Duty Ghost. And we all know what that means. The fastest firing SMG does the least amount of damage at like medium to long range distances and it falls off hardcore and what map are we playing we are playing a map that looks like skyrim and scotland had a baby and this is what happened like this is what happens when skyrim and scott like did i say skyrim I, did, I just i just said sky this is what happens when skyrim and scotland hooks up this is what happens man and this map honestly is too beautiful for a call of duty game like, hands down, this map is gorgeous. Like, it's also way too freaking big. I don't know why they managed to put a map this size in, uh, in Ghost. You know, it reminds me of uh, a map in Modern Warfare 2, one of the DLCs. I can't think of the name right now, but it was, like, a really big desert map. And it had this really cool glitch where you could, like, get inside of a rock and kill people and be invincible. And I, I remember doing that a long time ago on Xbox. And, uh, anyways, I'm, I'm getting distracted from the commentary. So, anyways, when I loaded this map... And uh, I knew what gun I was using. I was like, oh, great. You know, using an SMG on this freaking huge map. I was like, there's no way, no way I'm going to get a chem. And I managed to pull it off in like four minutes, which is actually pretty crazy considering, you know, how large the map is. And like, I just, I never usually do very good on this map. But the one thing that we did really well as a team is that obviously I'm not playing with like any, you know, real like friends or anything like that. But our team managed to do things like really good and uh, kind of like, you know, pick people off. We were spread out really well so we could pick off any, you know, like, like reinforcing guys that were trying to go to get the C flag or any flags. And it's what you want to do on this map is in my opinion is either you want to take C and A or take A and B and then just kind of work from there on out. So like right here you can see I started getting shot by this guy. Thank God I got that ballistics vest. If I didn't get the ballistics, the ballistics vest from earlier, would have been freaking dead. That The ballistics vests do wonders in this game just like they did in Modern Warfare 3. Actually, as, as shameful as it sounds, I freaking love ballistics vests, man. I'm almost tempted just to run support in my Kim episode so I can get like, you know, like UAVs for day or satcoms. And, uh, and ballistics vests and all that stuff like that. Okay, so here's where the fun part comes in. Now, see, we got C and A, and my teammates are actually doing like a really good job at like picking the guys off at C that are trying to cap it. Now, they're all spawning on the B side, and this is where it just gets absolutely crazy, and I go on a freaking tear, man. Like, these guys are all over the place. You can see they're placing IDs upstairs, downstairs, and this is like where Dead Silence, Amplify, and all those other kill streaks are, are perks that uh, give you sound and stuff like that really come in handy and, and especially sit rep because sit rep if I didn't have it I'd be dead I would have walked into that ID upstairs you know I mean I guess if you really wanted to you could substitute sit rep for blast shield now this is like a tactical decision like I mean if you're rushing super crazily blast shield might be a better option just because you can just go in there like a tank like you're the Hulk and just take IDs up the bum like a champ and not have to worry about it however that typically is not my playstyle. My playstyle is very, I want to say it's elegant, if that makes any sense. I'm a very elegant player in the sense that I just like to mind freak my opponents. I like to, you know, just kind of play with them, play ring around the rosy, and then shoot them in the back. That's just how I am. That's how I've always played Call of Duty. So it tends to work out really better for me if I have sit rep because I can use that to my advantage. I can be like, oh, there's an ID there. I don't want to even go anywhere near it because the enemy is going to hear it when it blows up or it's going to say, you know, IDs have been exploded or, or whatever it says, you know, it'll alert them that somebody's in that area. So I really like sit rep for that purpose just because I like to play a smart game of Call of Duty. I don't like to, you know, rush in blindly. A lot of people think I just rush in foolishly, but there's actually a lot of strategy behind my rushing. But I find this hilarious right there. I set off the guy's ID and it blows up back in his face and it gives me the freaking chem strike. Like how hilarious is that? The, one of the most scumbaggy pieces of equipment in this game blows up, backfires in your face, and gives your enemy opponent a chem. I thought that was hilarious. But uh, anyway, so that's the end of this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, if you're new and you haven't yet, so you don't miss, you know, the next episode. Tell your friends about the video if you want to. Have a wonderful and safe day. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Later, dudes.